Ramos. Welcome to another week of Science at Home with me, Dr. Jillian Ramos at the RMSC. Now this week we're going to make crystals. To show you what I mean about crystals, let me show you a few that I've made this past week. These crystals are awesome because you can have them around the house where they can reflect sunlight or you can even use them as Christmas ornaments. In the following slide, I'm going to tell you the materials that you need and the procedure. The most important reagent for this experiment is borax. I also have three mason jars, wooden skewers, with pipe cleaners attached by thread, and food coloring. I will begin by mixing huge spoonfuls of borax into boiling hot water. So this water has been heated in the microwave for a couple minutes. Now we want to make a saturated solution of borax. So you can see here, the water is still pretty clear. So I'm going to keep adding borax until it is no longer clear and you see some borax settle to the bottom. This is therefore a saturated solution. Here I am showing you the saturated solution. It took me between six and eight huge spoonfuls of borax to obtain this. Now I will pour the saturated solution into my three mason jars. Now remember, this is hot, so be very careful. For this experiment, I want my crystals to be colored, so I'm going to be using food coloring, about 15 drops, and adding it to the saturated borax solution. Now, the food coloring is optional, so maybe try it without food coloring and see what happens. Now, I'm going to take the pipe cleaner that is attached to the wooden skewer by thread and dip it into the saturated borax solution. This is so I don't touch it because it is still hot. When you dissolve borax, or scientifically named sodium borate, in boiling water, these water molecules are farther apart. Now, when you cool this solution, it's going to bring the water molecules closer together and therefore form crystals. Things I wish I changed in this experiment is I wish I had folded my pipe cleaners to a more compact shape. I also wish I used bigger mason jars because getting those crystals out of my small mason jars was very difficult. Well, I want to know what you guys did, so please email me, send me pictures, reach out, and tell me how it went. Thanks for tuning in to another week of Science at Home with me and the RMSC.